the very first game of the season of NBA 2K24. And this was also my very first game on this version of 2K. The last one I played was 23. This was my very first one on 2K24. And you'll see in this video <laughs> that I make a lot of mistakes because I'm so used to 2K23 that I made some mistakes in this game. But it's just the first game. I don't expect perfection. And when you're in the league, the first few games are always going to be rough. So this game is going to be a perfect example. As you can see, the shooting is tough. Shooting is very tough on this game. I missed one right there. My opponent is going to take advantage with Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> when you miss an open three, most of the time you're going to go up a fast break. I miss another one right there. And he's going to take advantage once again with Kawhi. Mid-range. Telling you, you can't be missing shots. <laughs> You're going to get cooked. Right there, I finally green one though with Zach. So that was good. Keep in mind, this is my first game on 2K24. If Just in case you forgot. And right here, we play great defense. Three seconds on the shot clock. Chet Holmgren gets a glitchy hop step <laughs> jumper in the paint. What was that? So Holmgren gets a nice screen from Rob Williams and he gets the three. I really want to know how to take off that cinematic cutscene because every time someone shoots a three, there's a cinematic cutscene and it's really annoying. It could kill the momentum of the game if you're trying to leak out on the fast break or set up defense. That cinematic just cuts everything off See, again cinematic if anyone knows how to turn it off let me know in the comments i checked the settings i'm not too sure jb misses a wide open mid-range as the season progresses i'm going to be learning my player shots so this first game i didn't expect too much of anything just wanted to shake the rust off so i am down by eight points we only scored 11 in the first quarter if our jump shots were falling we'd have way more but like I mentioned first game I didn't expect too much just wanted to break the ice we get a nice steal right there nice lob to Scotty Barnes our top three picks working together JB Levine and Scotty I'm gonna get a nice fake screen right there I get it to the paint Scotty Barnes and one let's go And obviously, you already know. Free throw. Brick. I'm not sure, man. Like I said, this is my first game, so free throws and shooting was very, very tough. Again, another cinematic scene. So free throws, I had to learn how it works on 2K24. Another cinematic scene. <laughs> I don't mean to keep bringing it up, but it just keeps popping up every time someone shoots a three, and it's really annoying. Zach Levine gets a nice dunk after the cinematic. So despite our struggles early on, we are only down 6. I try to take advantage of Trey Young. We get a nice spin off DiVincenzo. Trey Young finally misses a 3. And we get an opportunity to get a layup right here. Green. So it's a 2 point basketball game. In this game, I didn't, uh, sorry, I didn't really try to call too many plays. Ooh, I greened the shot finally, but it was a shot clock violation. Of course, I missed the wide open ones, but green, the fading one. So we're still down two points. We're going to get fouled right here. Like I mentioned earlier, I was going to continue my um, my thought. I was going to say I didn't run too many plays on this game. I tried to let the offense run on automatic and see what the computer would run for me. So if you guys are watching my offense in this specific... Eh, I'm cutting... <laughs> Wow, that's what happens when you don't do a commentary for a while. Your words, you get your tongue twisted. So I was going to say the specific game, I didn't run too many plays. So if you watch my offense, I let the CPU run it. As you can see right here, I'm not calling any plays. I let it run automatically. But as the league progresses, I will start implementing my own plays. Because <laughs> the CPU play sometimes is not the best. Especially in specific situations, they don't know what to run. So right here, it's the fourth quarter. This is where things get exciting. We are down two. I give it to Drummond, and we tie the basketball game. Let's go. 
My opponent had Osar Thompson at point guard, which isn't allowed. He does a spin move, cheesy dunk <laughs> to take the lead. Jalen Brown, wide open three. Those are shots I got to knock down. I don't know what that shot was by Drummond, but <laughs> it was terrible. So I'm going to get into the paint. We tie the game up with Lonzo. That speed boost. One on one, five out with JB on Dylan Brooks. And one. We finally take the lead. As we go into our free throw routine. I'm going to take my time, time it. And I still miss it. Drummond misses the layup. Sometimes I don't know why they don't just go for a dunk. They're right under the rim, but they get stuck in these weird animations in the paint. My opponent is moving the ball around. Lonzo Ball gets a nice interception. Lavine is out running everybody. I'm going to go in for the dunk. Four point lead. He's going to go into the paint with Kawhi Leonard. He gets fouled. Unlike my squad, he's actually going to knock down the free throws. Even if he released it early, it still goes in. He greens the second one. So we're up by two right now. I'm going to get into the paint. Spin move. We get fouled. Free throws. Miss. This was rough, man. This was rough. <laughs> free throw again. Miss. That's crazy. That's literally the reaction I had. That facial expression by JB. Zach Levine with a mean slam. So we're up by three. He spins into the paint. Thaddeus Young with a glitchy layup. <laughs> so we are only up by one point. Three minutes left in this basketball game. He is double teaming Lonzo. I give it to Drummond into the paint. We get a wide open dunk. Finally he dunks the ball. I took a bad shot with Levine. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> That's throwing the basketball game 101. And I don't know how we didn't get that steal right there. It was literally in his hands. And he somehow gets the ball back. And Jordan Clarkson is going to go into the paint. After that bad shot by Levine and that fumble that we didn't secure, he gets a layup. I get a shot right here. Wide open, I miss. I think that was a bad shot, honestly. I took two bad shots in a row, and my opponent is going to try to capitalize on that. Kawhi finds Jordan Clarkson. Yes, sir. <laughs> Off of my bad shots. Wide open. I miss. The reason I'm taking these shots is because I'm trying to practice. If you don't shoot these shots, you'll never practice. So, you gotta take him. It's a learning experience. And my opponent is scoring off of my shots. Lonzo Ball, finally. I think that was our first made free throw of the game. Second one. Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> oh my goodness. This fourth, this fourth quarter, the last three minutes, was the downfall. We took a couple of bad shots. We missed free throws. My opponent took advantage. So we are down by three. Initially, it was a double screen off the inbound. That broke down. So now we end up scrambling for a shot but it's tough against his defensive team Zach Levine ends up taking a step back three because we had no choice it's off so this game was a learning experience we only lost by three despite the rough shooting I think this was the worst shooting game of my life on 2k in terms of three-point shot and free throws factor in that we play on Hall of Fame so every miss that's not green is magnified so once we improve that the season will look much better so don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, so you don't miss out on the next games. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow G4 